Meghan Markle has been defended from criticism over the cost of the baby shower friends of the Duchess of Sussex threw in her honor in New York, with royal commentators pointing out Kate, Duchess of Cambridge had faced similar expenses. Meghan Markle has been facing criticism for attending a baby shower to celebrate the arrival of the royal baby at the most expensive hotel in New York, the Mark Hotel on the Upper East Side. The Duchess of Sussex is believed to have rustled up £244,942 in expenses between travel, accommodation and security costs, sparking criticism among royal fans, despite most of the payment being privately covered. But commentators rose up in defense of Meghan, with expert Omid Scobie saying, We had Meghan, who very publicly had this baby shower at a hotel, friends coming in and out, the world's press there to see. There was a huge moment, first time mum, it's only going to happen once. What's the difference between that and then the world's press descending on the hospital after the baby is born to take glamorous photos of a made-up new mum with her baby? How much taxpayers' money goes into funding security for something like that? You need security to move around and whether Meghan had a big or a small baby shower, she would have gone out to the US with as many protection officers as she did which was very little. ITV royal commentator Chris Shipp also pointed out similarities between the security costs Meghan incurred in during her five-day stay in New York and the expenses in laws William and Kate face when on holiday with their three children George, Charlotte, and Louis. Mr. Shipp said, What's the difference between what Meghan did in New York and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William, and Kate? going skiing with their children and no doubt took some police protection with them to whichever mountain range they went to. Kate and William whisked their children off to a skiing holiday during half-term in February to spend some quality time together and enjoy the ski slopes. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are known for loving winter sports and are not new to skiing breaks. Three years ago, the Cambridges took George and Charlotte to four-star ski resort Kirchival in the Terroir Valleys in France, where rooms can be booked from £279 a night. The royal couple took off just as Meghan travelled to New York to spend time with longtime celebrity friends, including tennis star Serena Williams and human rights lawyer Amal Clooney. Meghan Markle avoided additional travel costs by hitching a ride with Amal on her way back to the United Kingdom. Despite the Hollywood guest list, the lavish event was an intimate gathering of her closest friends who have helped her through her first year of royal life. Meghan's longtime friend and wedding makeup artist Daniel Martin insisted the party was all baby talk and she was getting lots of advice from her friends during the event which took place on February 20. Mr. Martin told People magazine, it was exactly what she needed, and was a reunion for us, too who hadn't seen each other since the wedding. Snow was falling outside. And it was so cozy, we all sat on couches or on the floor and told stories and caught up. It was like a family reunion. The baby is going to be loved by us all. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are expected to welcome their first child sometime in April, with the Duchess of Sussex preparing to enter her eight-month.